Hello, friends and servants. Here we are for another unboxing. In, ver in not home. We're on vacation, and I got something absolutely stupid. I got a replica. It was much cheaper than it is online. Way, it's like half the price. It's crazy. Dennis collection. Since 1967, apparently. I got the German 17th century gun axe. This guy was so excited that someone was buying this. It's also the second one left. Second one, second to last in the store. And it, it pokes out of the box. It's damaged the box. Which is always good. You know it's always good. I have no corona to, to open this. I feel naked without the knife. How do I open things without the Koran bit? Keys? Keys. Skull candy bottle opener. Are you just excited for this? Yes. <laughs> it's a lot when the fiance is excited for this. It's a toy. I mean, it's a replica. It's also going to be really heavy. Apparently I can't get it out that way. Oh. It wasn't coming out, it's getting caught on something. You're gonna destroy the box. Hey. Alrighty. Before before we look at that, Nicole, you go ahead and play. We got made in Spain. Oh my goodness. Here's the Denex entire catalog. This is my next adventure, which I found online. They're really cheap compared to here. We got sword knives. I've seen these. Nicole's already aiming to kill. I already have a fake revolver. I got some... What the heck, Nicole? It's like, it's like Lake George. We got all these. This is ridiculous. Let's just get one for Jason. Really annoying. All right, so, sweetie, put it, put it down. Here is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Musket, pistol, axe. Got some finer details. We got a little lie in there. The handle's got some <laughs> decoration. Wow. This smells of actual gun grease. I can't believe how much this smells of gun grease. We got a little more decoration here. Screw. It's got... Oh. No. It's got all the action. You would think a real firing nonsense would be, and you know you would have you would have the flint here, and then you know you lock it back. That makes it flint lock, and then you go, and it'll go bang. And you know, in the case they don't go bang, you go chop. <laughs> this is plugged up. Mm. That's pretty damn hollow in there. <laughs> That's kind of not safe at all. Wow, well, actually, wait, hold on. It's a lot. Is the axe hollow? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> so this is this ain't this ain't uh, a thing at all. Let me screw here. Yeah, very stupid. You might see this in videos. Wait. Mm -hmm. You can play with it. Just hold on. Let me finish. You might see this in some videos. And yeah, that kind of stuff. My turn. That's it, totally stupid. My fiance is going to kill me with it now. <laughs> now. Now you're making your way into it, right? I'm attaching this. We're, we're, we're talking about this, like, why, why would you do this? And we were just in a museum, and we've seen, like, musket pistol swords before. And it makes sense, because when you shoot the, the musket, you get the one shot, and then it's out. And it takes too long, and the pistols are for close, so it makes sense why you might have, like... A melee weapon on the side. So, like an axe, it's not far fetched. Maybe like pirates. Here's the thing, though, right? Here's the thing. This is really impractical. Like, it doesn't go down like a normal musket handle does. Unless you hold it under, but like, it, the force goes back, like on a gun, on the bottles, right? And then they all fall. The force goes back. This, this this could never have been real. I mean, I just showed you how to do that. <laughs> You're just having so much fun. 
The way, the way you did that, that's so insane. Well, it's not percussion cap, so they're not that good. <laughs> I'm dating this four-year-old. A friend is a friend to the end of the end, that's forever!